Hello. I would just like to wish good luck to anybody doing NaNoWriMo this month. I've done it before and I have succeeded, but when I'm in university, it just doesn't, doesn't work out. So yeah, good luck to all you guys. I will be rooting for you throughout the month. I know everybody's feeling fresh right now, but I know around, you know, the 18th, 19th, you're like, oh my God, what do I do with my story? I feel you, bro. Today I have a book review for you on a particular book that some of you seemed pretty interested in when I was reading it, and that would be A Secret Kept by Tatiana de Rosne. I uh, absolutely loved her first book, Sarah's Key. Now, this is her second book, and it still has some of the similar flavors of Sarah's Key. It takes place in France, it's about a family, there's um, mystery and is issues with the families, and but there's no jump back to a previous historical point in time. So I'll start with sort of a short synopsis of what's going on. The main character in this one is male. His name is Antoine Ray, and uh, he and his sister Melanie, at the beginning of the book, uh, decide to go on a, sh a long weekend to this island that they used to go to when they were children. The island is Noir Noir Moutier. Noir Moutier, I do not speak French very well, so <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm like butchering that so much, but they go to that island and they haven't been back there in so many years, and then when they go there, all these memories start flooding back, and Melanie remembers something really shocking, and when she's about to tell her brother, they're driving home, and sort of the emotion of it overcomes her, and she actually ends up driving off the road. Now, his sister lives. This is still all the be very beginning of the book, so I'm not giving away anything very serious here, even if it sounds like I am. But that accident sort of kicks off a bunch of different things. You learn that Tonio, that's kind of what they call him for short, they call him Tonio, divorced his wife, but he's still kind of in love with her and he's having trouble connecting with his kids. He is sort of lost in his life. He hates his job. He just doesn't like existing, basically. And his sister, um, once the accident happens, can't really remember what she wanted to tell her brother, and but he's anxious to know. So those couple different issues sort of keep the book flowing after the accident. The mystery, we eventually find out, has to do with um, Tonio and Melanie's mother, Clarice. She was an extremely well-loved person, but she came from a poor background, and she married into a very rich, proper Parisian family. Tonio and Melanie are raised never to question, you know, never, they're not supposed, they're supposed to be seen, not heard, and they don't really communicate with their father that well, and so this whole family has been sort of suppressing this secret, and for the rest of the book you're sort of figuring out what the secret is, you're watching Antonio trying to uh, bond with his kids, how is he gonna kind of get over his wife, and move on from her because She's got a different life. She cheated on him with a guy named Serge and they're kind of together, you know, off over here and Tonio misses her a lot. Yeah, so it's definitely more of a grown-up book in the sense that it's just grown-up world problems rather than the mystery of a 1940s World War II story. Therefore, I didn't enjoy it as much as I wanted to. It's still an interesting book and it's still high up there in terms of the quality and how much I did like it. It's just that I had trouble because I kept comparing it to her first book. I had a lot of trouble relating to some of the stuff he was going through just because I don't have issues with my family. I'm not a 40-year-old old man. Maybe if you're a bit older you might enjoy it more because you might relate to having kids and you know them in their adolescence and you're trying to be a good influence on them without completely dominating their lives. Maybe you've been through a divorce and you understand the pain of that but I just I couldn't really connect to a lot of it. The good parts though, though were the mystery. I thought I had it figured out and then it you know they kind of threw a curveball in at the last moment and I was like that was good, that was good. There's deaths that just sort of happen and you aren't really expecting them, but they, they work for the story because it kind of helps keep the plot pushing forward. I almost felt like the author was looking for something to sort of push the story to keep it going until she could get to that end point. She's like, you know what, I'm gonna kill this character. But then, as I was reading the extra stuff in the back, they have like the book club parts, um, I found out that one of the deaths, she actually did it because one of her kids had had experienced something similar in his life and it was sort of 
to commemorate that, which I actually thought was really nice after I read that. Considering all that stuff, I'm gonna give the book a four out of five stars. I feel like I judged a little too harshly based on the first book, whereas if I had just kind of read this on my own, I would have definitely given it a four out of five, whereas I kind of feel more like a three and a half out of five, but you judge things that you like more harshly just because you expect so much from them. So yeah, I'm gonna go with a four out of five for A Secret Kept. And I'm gonna recommend it to anyone who has read Sarah's Key and enjoyed it. Someone who likes reading about France because they do, you know, do a lot of really nice descriptions of France, specifically Paris and Noir Moutier and, and the island. So if you guys have read A Secret Kept, or you've read Sarah's Key, you really like Tatiana de Rosne, leave me a comment below, tell me what you thought of the book. Thank you for watching. If you like book reviews, you can of course subscribe to us. You can follow us on Twitter and friend or follow us on Goodreads. All the links are in the doobly-doo and I will see you guys later.